everyone, and we were from more Halcyon 6. We just got our fleet back together while the, the house base continued the work of producing us tons of materials. We have tier 2s on the way. Is our tier 2 ship done yet? Is that on the way? We need five more days. Oh, um, that's a long time. Let's just go out and do some errands. <laughs> Let's go out and actually do some stuff. So we have a couple quests here we can do, like colony request aid. That's simple enough. Go take care of it, boys. First fleet, deploy. And we can deploy um, some automated resource generation while we're out here as well. Dark Matter Extractor. And hey guys, how's it going? Transfer. And then while we're here, let's go ahead and throw in this satellite drone. Add officer, two days. Good job, Ilaria. Get, get to work. Speed of time. Get pirate shoe. Understood. Uh, we have, I mean, those pirates aren't going to destroy our base anytime soon, but it does drain morale, right? Archer's back. Uh, we will assign that. Actually, I guess I have to wait till we come back to assign that. Get that drone deployed. Excellent. Collect reward to get 200 kills for that. It's a very distant extractor to put the drone in, so it's probably not very efficient because the drones aren't particularly fast. And I'm not going to rush back. Upgrade the refinery at Ghost Head. Where's Ghost Head? It's way down here. Never mind, we'll just come right back. Because that's the next thing I want to do. I mean, it's right there, we might as well return and shoot down these pirates. A shuttle arrived from the last of the resources, but was destroyed by a bubble. Ah, oh, god, gosh, dang it. Drone, stop. It's not going to make it. We're going to lose another drone. Ah, acknowledged. We have to make more drones. All right, we get there. That's why we didn't get here and stop this. Like, stop it! You destroyed so many drones. Had to make more drones. Oh, I'm very inconvenienced right now. Engage the enemy. Sorry, right, we'll go out and do some not combat. We'll build drones and then have a vessel go out to collect resources and do some upgrades. It doesn't have to be full fighting strength for that. Take off their sensors. Are we exploiting sensors right now? We can exploit sensors, right? Pretty sure we can exploit sensors. It's like right there on the Buccaneer. Solar Flare! <laughs> Krill, good job, Krill. Yeah, we exploit with harass. Let's actually set up for multiple combos though at once. And then you can inflict hull breach, which I don't know. Do we actually combo that? Or we can just exploit the. Oh no, it's not panicked yet. Yeah, we have the hull breach. Needs multiple status effects stacked though. Take out the tier two or the tier one? Eight tier? Yeah, tier two. Take out tier two. It's a way higher threat. These tier zeros are so easy to kill. Normally, I'd focus them down because they're much more vulnerable. So I usually remove them, they're just getting up on the tier two. But they're so—I mean, they're so the threat's so low. It's kind of unnecessary to even do that. Man, they are having a lot of trouble hitting us, which is good. Stop hitting my archer, and then we can ram him. Display his engines down. And now he's dead. So we'll just take out these couple shuttles. I think stop shooting down my shuttles, my resource shuttles. I would really like that. If they weren't doing that anymore. Appreciated it greatly, in fact. You have oh release mines. I forgot we had this. Yeah, you're just barely alive. Kill that thing. And then you can go ahead and harass it. Exploit sensors offline, and that should be you. Yep, yeah, alright, easy fight. I mean, it's a tier 2 and two tier 1s against tier zeros, mostly, so it's not a surprise we won that pretty easily. Uh, space combat aim on Ibrahim, perfect. Good job, Ibrahim. And you need space combat power mostly. And upgrade stealth. That's ground power. So just upgrade the ground. Does upgrade stealth ground power. You don't need stealth ground powers. Uh, improve speed plus five plus two ship speed. It's pretty weak. Oh no! Get your operative training. Get your there you go. Your overall uh, stat training up. Skill training. Return to the base. And now I want somebody to go to the star base. Satellite drone control. Build me some drones, please. Add officer, five days for Isolde to do it. Alright, Isolde, get to work. 
Anything else I want to have done while we're here? We could build another dark matter multiplier. No, we need another reactor. Can I upgrade reactors? Deck resources. Zero dex reactor, we absolutely can. It is quite expensive, though. But I'll research it. And then... Zero dex is 750 materials. I can't even build it yet. But if I want to use our room more efficiently, I'll have to wait. So I suppose we just wait and go grab, go out and grab some materials. So you're doing that, so we can send out... Um, not... I guess we don't... We only really need one ship to go out, then. If we have one ship going out... Because I can just send, like, send out Ilario or Ibrahim. Because we don't really need two ships. So I only have one ship going out. That should be Ilaria, so he can do upgrades more easily. So Ibrahim will be the guy stuck at home. Ibrahim will have you do explorations easy for you. Well, exploration is probably one of the easier things to do. Or you can research upgrades. And we're using the... What ship are we building right now? Archer, I believe? We've already built it. That's right, we need to assign you a new ship as well. Uh, spaceships. Ship management. The Archer gets Ibrahim. Alright, and then Ibrahim, you can research an Archer upgrade. Get extra evasion. Ah, it's, ah it, aim and damage. Because you're, that's your job. Do damage. That makes sense to me. Only two days. I think we send out Ilaria to take care of all these chores. Thank you, Ilaria. Have fun. Launch fleet. Repair. Transfer fuel. We also need to start building a tier 3 science vessel. Once we get the resources, which we're working on. Slowly but surely. Transfer crew. Let's go to all the... Exclamation marks, basically. And Ibrahim, you can upgrade. You can do the other upgrade now. While we're, while we're waiting around. You cannot, because we're out of material. Oh, we need... A. you can build... I mean, we can build up the Zerodax reactor. And then you can... I guess you just do materials, because we have to wait for... Now you can go explore this. Go ahead, go ahead and get that explored. Get some resources off that. And then we have to deploy... For... No, that's Terra, isn't it? Isn't that Terra? Is that a fleet from... No, it's a portal. There's a there's an active portal out there. I'll take care of that soon. Good job. Nothing to really build there yet. Because we don't have the power constructed. So, until then... You are on... What about Academy Duty? A little bit more materials? It's only opponent's experience from combat, which I'm not super impressed with. Ships at Starbase, not super impressed with that upgrade either. Don't have a counselor's office. We should also get on a counselor's office. Do we have a counselor's office even researched? Do not have the counselor's office even researched. Or the cadet's room. Yeah, we need, we need just more stuff. Alright, get on some materials replication. How long does it take you? Six days? Does a short amount of time? Yes, three days. Do that, because you're not going to be doing that for a particularly long period of time. Just for materials. Actually, don't leave. Just to be there. Deploy the satellite drone. Two days. And then deploy the satellite drone at the Dark Matter as well. Acknowledged. All right. Three satellite drones, probably enough. We don't need to spend money on more. He's making um, running out of running out of jobs to do. I don't want to spend dark matter. We need that for the ships. So materials is more what we're doing. I guess yeah, just get on new roll upgrades. And we don't have enough levels to get a new officer. Well, having another officer to. Help take care of all these chores would be great. Transfer crew. Right there. Grab that dark matter. Oh, beautiful. New facility, throw up a satellite drone. And 
And Solomon leveled up as well. And do 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 ground combat power also upgrades a ship if we ever get there. S certainly we will. Goes for bomb ground combat and improves ship damage. So more compromise upgrades. Skip to can't because you don't have the skill for that. Not enough level yet. That is should be a friendly delegation. Act no actually show location. Now with that power we can start building more structures such as a dark matter multiplier, because that's what we need, right? We have materials, materials, dark matter, dark matter. Yeah, I want two of each. Gives us a bonus for missions, and then we can staff it with all our officers while they're not doing anything else to get a lot more dark matter. Uh, what do you want again? Uh, not code transfer. Oh yeah, you want the... You want us to help you by destroying it and getting the insurance off of it. Okay. Except. Yeah, I know, I got it. We'll, we'll get around to that. Thank you very much. How much time do we have for that mission? Two weeks. Oh, that's a colony. Per CI 8, it's a fuel colony. I should save them. Be nice. We should save the colony. <laughs> Don't be excited about it, but we should save the colony. Alright. So that's what they want. That's New Terra. That's the colony we need to save. So let's grab these materials and head on back. Gash materials to the fleet. And while we're here, it's only what? Two days? We can spend two days getting the drone up, right? Then we head right back. Uh, show location. What, 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 else, what else is being built here? <laughs> what else can we do? One day. Not, nope, still, still waiting on more resources. Darren, friends, I have terrible news for you. Tidjic fuse cores on Newth have broken. Structure the kind of perverse ideology man is to gain control of your station. Then reason them, but they've proven quite immovable. Since when the cores and disagree, it's new, it's new to us. Anyway, yes. But did he, did he get mad at us? Because instead of they're shooting us, I'm just going to kill them. So, is that not what I said last time? That sounds like something I would say. I feel like that's something I would say. They're gonna shoot me, I'm gonna shoot back. Show location. While well, waiting for that guy, uh, get get that going. Not very good at it necessarily. But you don't need to do it for long. Greatly improves resistance to hull breach status effect. I want to connect switch ground combat, improves unit damage. Ground combat powers, take the only ship upgrade right now. Carl, I, you're mostly appear to be mostly a space combat class. Might have got some of these kind of flipped around because maybe the biologist should be at home and the physicist should be out in space. Would make a little bit of sense. Pirates, no. Understood. Uh, do we have any drones coming back? I don't think we have any drones coming on the way back. Just our crew. Leave system. Return to base. Which is Zelda's under some preparing to assault the base. No, it's not though. It's not we have pirates and cores in here. Why do you want the base? Why is it cores that what what is going on? Why is the cores and property? Okay, they don't they're not gonna step they're not they're not gonna talk. Alright, alright. They gotta go. Bunch of materials and dark matter. Can we begin a new ship? Probably not, maybe after we attack and kill these guys. Deploy the first. I don't care what you're doing. You're deployed. And you, of course, are Abraham's. No, 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 no. No, you're not. Get out of there. You're not Abraham's ship. Stop. <laughs> it's the archer we want. Why, why can't I just assign from right there? Thank you for putting that in. Yes. For, stop what you're doing. We go take care of this area. Pirates, and then Corzan, and we need to you because you're fresh. You like engines down. Exploit sensors offline, exploit sensors offline. This does more damage for sensors offline. Not so worried about inflicting weapon disruption, we have nothing that combos weapon disruption. 
exploits vulnerable, exploits vulnerable, does less damage, but does inflict a damage over time effect. It's so an AoE damage or AoE buff. Do damage. The buff, it's like what, 25% bonus damage for other units? That's also himself. Eh, you know, if he does anything else, do he can buff himself and his allies. Seems probably fine. Oh, you, oh, you <laughs> take your own sensors offline. I didn't realize that the first time around. Uh, take off the big in sensor. Evaded. All right. Have them eat like I did. That actually nothing. Can disable him. Yeah, disable him. You're not exploiting anything, but you could just disable him. I like the pirate officer that we can't acquire from the Corzan. Although I might have messed that up by accidentally clicking through that. Clicking through that dialogue and I might have accidentally missed something that I didn't realize is how it works. Uh, we still have a suicide run's a weird skill. Take down his engines. And you don't have any way to make him vulnerable. How do we make him vulnerable? Do you have... Do you really not have... Ability to make it vulnerable. I haven't checked his skills for a while. Last engineer had that. And we would like to be exploiting vulnerable because our tactical officer is really down for vulner vulnerabilities. Does a ton of damage. I like that combo. Sensors down her ass. Seems like a pretty good combo. You do have the uh, damage buff on, of course. Do I just, just zap him? Almost enough damage to kill him. Good. You, you tried science vessel. Got a little banged up for it. So do we fight the Corzan fleet directly after this? Do we go back home? Do we have to come back to the star? How does this part work? Wow, we got whew, decent chunk of dark matter for my fight. Oh, no, we're just right into the second battle. Got it. Uh, edit. Oh, yeah, we have disable countermeasures right there. So let's go to this whole breach, take disable countermeasures. Much more reliable combo that we're much more comfortable with. Engage the enemy. Oh, it's only a tier one and a tier two. I almost feel bad. Maybe the game's not supposed to be hard yet. <laughs> the game hasn't jumped to extreme difficulty, but we have a good income. So I might be able to get tier threes before we even do new Terra. That would be phenomenal. If we could afford that. Kind of working on it. Uh, the tier one's weak enough we can take him down first. Fade. Oh my god, one shot, so much damage. That was that was very satisfying. Really happy about that. Disable it. Oh, uh, you can blind it so you can harass him. Hit him with the harassment. You missed with that crew pa I want you to panic his crew. That's what you're here for. That's like mostly what you're here for. And here we're doing it properly and actually relying on the tactics to do the damage because it does way more damage than the engineering. I just like the engineering ship. I just happened that the tactical ship was faster last time, so we ended up doing a lot of combos kind of backwards where we set up the tactical and finished the engineering. Uh, we were able to gain a vision run of the Zealot. At least you tried. I did try. You see, I tried. Alright, leveled up. You're a science vessel. Peace officer ship's resistance to de de debilitation. Damage against tactics. And ground combat power. You have better stasis locks here. Down for that. I'll go ahead and return. And then we want to go help. Actually, I'm to return first. Let's go right straight to Persei. Patient gain, good job, but I'm not like 
that worried about it? Can't keep going. Portal's coming out everywhere. I'm gonna take care of this portal. I just have to be running around fighting these cruel forever, which kinda reminds me of Kinda reminds me of Total War where you have rebellions, which work out well for you because then you can exploit exploit that for extra cash post battle loot. That's kinda what I'm thinking here, we can exploit these battles for bonus money, right? The post battle loot system. Go ahead and can you kill it? You can ram it and kill this thing. Combos aren't necessarily required. We'll just move straight up the line. Crew panicked, hit him with the missile in. You're not gonna be able to explore anything, at least potentially set up someone else. Or just get the debuff on. I mean, the debuff alone is. I'm having a debuff alone is fine, right? Harass it. So much, so much damage. Oh, it's so much better. I feel so much better. Uh, exploit his engines. And then we can use the other weaker units' exploits to finish off units. But when they have a full HP bar, we really gotta hit them with our strongest lead with our best foot forward. And yeah, go ahead and heal the engineering ship. We're having another battle for this for that other fleet that's going off and doing stuff. And was it disabled? It's not disabled, but I should kill it anyway. Also, I really like the theme of the attacks. So, like, engineering sends out a lot of, like, bombs and flat cannons and, like, physical kind of based abilities. The tactical officers have more real red laser, pew pew, photon cannon, maybe more, like, traditional sci fi type affair. And then the science officer has all the weird portal cannons and. And psychic rays and stuff. Colony is safe. Get a little bit of morale for that. Let's go to this one. Save this one. Pretty hurt fleet though. But it's a really weak army. Really weak fleet. Whatever. And we'll check our resources after this, and check our research and our construction order. At the very least, we can build a tier two. Get a tier two science vessel uh, underway. We are taking a little bit of damage though. Uh, let's focus on killing them. What is this against? Weapons disrupted, not part of our arsenal right now. You can go ahead and keep everyone alive. That's a should heal the archer. He can cloak though. He should definitely cloak. Oh no. No no no. No no no. He's on death's door, that's fine. He'll be able to heal himself, I believe. Just in case I'm wrong with that, a cooldown of that cauterized soul. I'm pretty sure it's a. Alright. Say, I'm pretty sure it's a one turn, like, no cooldown. Then you need to exploit the vulnerability, everyone's healing, and heal over time. It's a little close for a second. They just, they just, they just double heal? Then they exploit the sensors first, because when you exploit it, uh, so when you exploit vulnerable, just like anything else, it goes away, and we don't want that negative damage distance to go away right away. When we can do this, do a little bonus damage out. Damn, we might be overkill even focusing that guy, but he's whatever. Just, just, just kill. Him. All right, one left. Disable it if you can. Good shot. I don't need to disable it again. Don't really need to do anything else though. Evade. Can exploit sensors offline with harass. The vulnerable. Exploit that with a bullseye. Let's just take down its uh, sensors again. It just feels like a much more appropriate way of the engineering you have the engineering and science vessels support the comp the tactical vessel tactical vessels i mean its primary job is combat right whereas the science engineering officers have other things to do as well it's giving tactical officers the the glory here for inflicting damage it seems way more sensible now oh, he's being invasive and he healed a little bit 
You can just disable him again, except not really, because he has that going on. So try to take out his engine. Then we can follow up with a ram. And with the ram. Enough to kill him? Yes. 528. It's a good attack. I like it. I like the ramming attack. More equipment salvaged, and even more resources, of course. Which is really what we're trying to stack up. Gain Cruel Expert. Damage resistance against Cruel. Excellent work. Transfer materials to the fleet. Leave the system. What does Pavo want? Oh, you want me to pick up the people. Got it. Oh, we're the third deck fleet. Back to Pavo. Transfer crew. Leave the system. More crew. I don't care about all the crew. <laughs> this is a lot of crew. And now we can use some more crew. Let's go back and around. Pick up the extra crew. Crew speed. Yeah, you know what? Fine. Take a little bit extra speed. And then while we're here, we can build or research. Better yet, go to the research box. Are we at tier 3 yet? Oh, we we're very close to tier 3. We might, can, we might be able to just skip tier 2 science. We go straight to tier 3. Cadet barracks, I'm not so worried about. Counselor's room, our morale is kinda... and eh, we have no bonuses, pretty mediocre morale. Foundry would be fine too, propulsion lab's fine too. If we just skip straight to tier 3, however, that's really where we're gonna start popping up. We need more materials, I think? Most of our materials labs are automated. Alright. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Head down there, pick up that fuel. And then head here, pick up that crew. I don't think we have any automated crew. It might be, might be good to set up at least one automated crew facility. New facility, deploy satellite drone. In two days. I mean, at least one area give us crew automatically is probably a good idea. Situation in one of our colonies. One of our rescue colonies has been causing a stir. Though they appreciate being rescued, they are concerned that we aren't doing our best to ensure our fleets are quite as fast as they could be. They seem to be lobbying our crew to, to, directly to build a propulsion lab to rumors that we are uncaring. Ugh. Fine. Yeah, a largely decorative bunker. Yeah, we'll build them. We'll build one. I'll just do it right now. They're very expensive, though. You want a propulsion lab? So I have to research propulsion labs. I'm gonna set us behind on my plans. A little bit. And we can just build one right away. Propulsion lab right there. Do we have an officer cloning chambers? No, 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 no. No. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. No. No, no. No, no, no. No officer's cloning chambers. We only have one door left. What level would it be to explore this stuff? Level 7. We have no level 7s. I would really like to have a level 7 officer. Hmm. Because I need to explore the area. Right, these are still very low tier enemy fleets. That when we decide to go clear our pirate lane, we'll get some extra experience for that. As long as we're level 7, then we can clear that out. Because it's between, do I keep going and try to rush down this uh, tier 3 nonsense or do I just capitulate to building a officer cloning facility in case something disastrous happens how much do we need for tier 3 again that's the wrong button tier 3 requires 1300 it's almost double our current materials we are getting at a decent rate though and if it's going to take that many materials you know what we really should do is build the tier 2 science vessel there's no reason not to, we're gonna be sitting around from materials for a while anyway. Science. Probably just the tougher science vessel. It has less evasion though. This one's faster. It's faster and has more evasion. It's probably the faster one. Also save this a little bit on resources. Sorcerer, welcome to the team. Construct. Alright, let's get the fleet back. Chance for fuel. Leave the system. And once you're level 7, I think that also means we can get a new officer. So we get level 7, we have some good things about to happen for us. Return, everyone's back home, got some materials, would like even more materials. With the bonus we get for, per battle, and we have a decent enough fleet, we can just go out and kill these pirates, and then use those resources to help us along. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh no, wait, oh no, I forgot. 
How much time do we have? 17 days. Oh, the fuel merchant is 32 days. Okay. Forget about the fuel merchant. We still have a long time, so that's fine. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe more for more, blah, blah, blah. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I'll let you guys know the deal. Your skirt compliment is that you probably don't. Probably don't uh, mumble and like stumble across the words on the thing you say pretty much every day. I would, I would assume not. If so, I'm sorry. I know the pain. Bye bye.